Item number SCP-3213 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3213 is to be contained in standard humanoid containment cell on Floor 20 of Site 88. Under no circumstances is SCP-3213 to be allowed unsupervised interaction with any member of the pendiped species. Pendiped families include, but are not limited to, walruses, seals, and sea lions. Testing of SCP-3213's effects is to take place in the aquatic facilities on Floor 21 of Site 88. Description SCP-3213 is a 44-year-old human male named Carl Proser. When SCP-3213 is in the direct line of sight of any member of any pendiped species, the animal will become sapient and capable of vocalization. SCP-3213 affected animals will then utilize this capability to direct verbal abuse towards SCP-3213. Affected animals appear to possess individual personalities and behaviors. Though all share a common dislike of SCP-3213, affected animals either do not comprehend or do not care to respond to any verbal requests from individuals who are not SCP-3213. Repeated interactions between SCP-3213 and affected animals has yielded no variable information relating to the cause of the anomaly. When in the presence of pinnipeds, SCP-3213 is under constant danger of physical attack. Affected animals will attempt to inflict as much physical pain as possible on SCP-3213. Although multiple tests in controlled settings have revealed that these attacks will cease if SCP-3213's life is in danger, all attacking animals will continue to act verbal abuse towards SCP-3213 until removed from SCP-3213's presence. SCP-3213 affected animals do not appear to retain their sapience or ability to vocalize once out of direct line of sight of SCP-3213. Examination of live, actively affected specimens have been unsuccessful due to their aggression. SCP-3213 has, however, been cooperative in continued testing of the anomaly. Test 3. Purpose. Virtual demonstration of described anomaly. Date. October 30th, 2017. Method. SCP-3213 was given a video camera and told to enter a room with a tank housing two adult earless seals. Results. A video file demonstrating the anomaly was created. The relatively docile nature of the interaction is believed to have been an attempt to make SCP-3213 feel safe. Two separate attempts were made to physically drag SCP-3213 into the water six seconds after the end of the video exit below. Uh, go to hell, Carl. Seriously, walk away, Carl. Test 5. Purpose. Attempts by Dr. Paul Clifford to communicate with affected animals while SCP-3213 was present. Date. November 8th, 2017. Method. SCP-3213 directed to enter a room with a tank housing two earless seals. Dr. Clifford was already present. Interaction log. Go screw yourself, Carl! Yeah, go screw yourself! Long and hard, you freaking bastard! Excuse me, can you understand me? Carl, how's it feel to know that even though you're going bald, you'll never get any uglier? Can you hear me? What's the matter, Carl? Too much of a pussy to answer us? Test 16. Purpose. Attempts to glean more of the reason for the anomaly's existence. Date. January 24th, 2018. Method. SCP-3213 directed to enter a room with a tank housing two earless seals and to inquire as to the reason behind the anomalous behavior. Interaction log. Should have figured you'd come back. That you like a taste of crap. 
What did I do to make you mad at me? Oh ho, this piece of crap wants to know what he did. You freaking know what you did, Carl. I never know what you're freaking talking about. You're a freaking asshole. We freaking remember because we saw you do that crap, Carl. You got all those people food. You thought just because it was dark and raining on the beach that night, no one's going to see what you did. Jesus freaking Christ. Coming back to you now, ain't it, asshole? Why don't you jump in here and I'll give you a taste of how it felt? Don't worry, we won't kill you. Promise. Why? Because then we couldn't hurt you any more, Carl. Following the interaction, SCP-3213 refused to elaborate on the incident described by the affected animals. It is also unknown why all members of the Penniped species are aware of this triggering incident. Investigation into SCP-3213's past has turned up nothing matching the described details. SCP-3213 testing is currently suspended, and daily interviews are scheduled to determine what events caused this anomaly.